Well, the YouTube true crime tale of a site and everything else. Looking through my emails today and uh, found this article of a uh, missing Georgia girl found dead in Alabama. Suspect is linked to previous abuse cases. And how many more tragedies are we going to go through, all right, before, you know, we, we can say to stop using this old lack of evidence, uh, lack of that, lack of, oh, he, this guy was acquitted. This guy was acquitted for a couple other cases due to lack of evidence. And here's the poor child right here. Um... First day of school, man, it's tough to see pictures like this. And to think that someone had came along to just take this poor child's life. I mean, one can only imagine and think and say, wow. And then again, that's right. You got to sit there and say, how many more of these cases are going to come along throughout life? Before we start slamming down the hammer on these pieces of crap that get away with this kind of crime. And um, they're still, you know, they're waiting for the autopsy. If convicted, he'll get life in prison or death penalty. I hope he gets the death penalty because, like I said, this guy has done it before. Um... 37-year-old Jeremy Tremaine Williams uh, found Williams with his uncle in Russell County Motel. And he'd been there for 30 minutes before the deputies arrived. Of course, the uncle, go figure, believed not to be accessory to the crime. Okay, why are these two living in a motel anyways? Usually with motels like the Night Stalker, Raymond Ramirez, who lived in Hotel Cecil while killing. Of course, another serial killer in the Hotel Cecil. Forget his name, but who cares? You know, you, you, so many times you talk about these numb nut idiot dipsticks that you don't even want to remember their names, but... Anybody living in a hotel, motel, Holiday Inn, woo! Um, yeah, you know damn well that they're for there for cruel, bad, demented intentions. I mean, besides, you know, even to think any type of motel throughout time, and that's what was built with Mr. Triple H, the first serial killer to ever be... Um, known to man who could have been the Jack the Ripper, but he had a hotel bringing guests and, right, lead them to their demise. A lot of places and hotels that have been throughout time have done this. Couples, married couples, Lauren and other couples, you know, it's sick. You know, you think you the hotel, motel, holiday inn thing would be just for travelers, right? But no, other people of cheating and stupid stuff and kidnapping and raping. It's just sick. And he had previously lived in Russell County House, six miles from the little girl's home, where they found the house vacant. Maybe they lost their house or whatever the hell they were doing. Obviously, they lost their everything because of the nature of the idiots that they are. But there was the body inside. And to move on to the most, you know, the most disturbing thing of this case. Not just this girl, but in 2009 was accused of abusing children in Phoenix City. But he was acquitted at trial by a jury. Go figure. Also suspect in the death of a one-year-old Alaska, but was never charged due to insufficient evidence. 
it's always insufficient evidence. But if that person was in that time, that era, that moment, the, you know what? And this guy has this lingering over his head of another charge, abusing children. Well, then you take a wild damn guess of what they should think of doing. Instead of, oh, geez, acquitted, no evidence. Yeah, okay. Um, Like I said, kidnapping and rape. <laughs> I hope this guy gets the book thrown at him. And I hope someone, right, like I always say, takes... Care of him in jail with the jailhouse rules. But enough of this piece of crap. And how much more is anybody really going to uh, take? And how much uh, more uh, of these cases that linger over people's heads? Especially you cannot, you cannot, you know... um have any words for any parent or family member dealing with this kind of stuff. There's no words. You can't say a damn thing. You can't say I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, this and that. You know, I, I, I feel you. there's no words that can put any comfort to anybody who loses a child in this manner. And when you got pictures like this that are just going to hang on your wall and you're going to sit there and be haunted for the rest of your life that you had a child, <laughs> it brings the, it chokes you up. And then you all going to feel it right now. I want to cry for this kid. And um, just to think, you can't even imagine until it happens to you. And yeah, it's sick. It's sick to say, and how many more kids are going to lose their life throughout time? Especially these days. These days, because kids are brought up in a spoiled, rotten world and cannot get disciplined right. Um, you, know, th you know, there's ways of taming your children and making them, you know, respectful, loyal, uh, determined kids, but because the way the generations are brought up now and being raised, there's just no, no filter. You cannot, you cannot, uh, you know, do things I mean, don't get me wrong, some kids do get and lead successful lives. There are some people that do end up being very successful, but right, when you got the other kids on the other side of the tracks that are brought up into the world that, like me, was brought into, and in trying to become successful, it's hard. And when you live in a world of depression and, um say so, always being beat down, it's tough, very tough to try to imagine any type of uh, life that you could try to proceed with, and, um, you know, this kid's door was found wide open, so... I don't know how they live out there if they're just, you know, f not fearful of people walking in their house. But obviously this kid was being stalked. The person had the biggest kahunas to just walk through the door, pick her up out of her bed and leave. And um, it's just sad to say, right, that, and, and sucks to say that this happens. And, you know, kids these days are not equipped with street smarts, nor the right discipline, whoops, well, technical difficulties, and uh, street, and, you know, the things to, skills to live life and to learn how to, you know, do things in a certain way because it just isn't there. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, like I say, some do become successful, some do end up 
doing something, but when you're on the wrong side of the tracks, but you know something is wrong, like I used to know something's wrong here. This ain't right. These this is happening here, this is happening there, and this don't look right. You know, it's tough to, to get a grasp on thing and try to make it right. It's very tough. And uh, who knows uh, where this family was, you know, where they sat in the, you know, the rules of life, rules. I don't want to say that word, nah. but this guy, man, I hope he gets something thrown at him besides a friggin' book, besides the law, besides jail time. You know, the law system really needs to start breaking down on this crap, whether it's friggin' sex trafficking, just some idiot that random idiot wants to just go do something stupid like this. The hammer needs to be thrown down a little bit harder on that damn judge's desk. I mean, it's just sick. How many more kids' lives are going to be taken because of stupidity, ignorance, and people just not caring? <laughs> These kids cannot advocate for themselves. These kids cannot fight for themselves yet. And they need 24-hour protection. I mean, don't get me wrong, it is tough to do, but... When you see that strange man looking around, or that strange incidents that happen, you know, it's like something neat. Oh, man. There needs to be more, say... Not just surveillance cameras. There needs to be more security throughout the world. Just like when bodies come missing or kids come missing and they don't get found. And, oh, they'll take a taxpayer's money and look for that Brian Laundry and uh, manhunt many multiple hours. But when someone comes missing... Lucky thing this girl was found, but ones that ain't found, the hammer don't get put down on that either. Something needs to be changed, something needs to be forth more seriously, so these people like this guy will get a second thought to say, oh, wait a minute, I don't want to do that. Because, right, if they know that something's out there that's going to come and get them, you will just be amazed on how much these idiots will stop doing and thinking what they want to do. Because, yeah, how about someone hunt these people? Hmm? Oh, I would love to get a job to hunt these people. I'd be out there every day hunting these people. Yes, yes, folks, hunt them. Hunt them down. Take care of them properly. <laughs> That's right. Give me a job. This would be my job. If there was a job out there I'd want to do right now, this would be it. Hunting down pedophiles. You sick, dirty, demented. Mm -hmm. I want to take my hands around each and every one of your throats and choke. Because these kids don't deserve this. Even though if they're just off the charts. Oh man, it's just sick. Till the next video, be safe, take care, always beware. And let's give this poor child a moment of silence. I hope the suspect burns, rots, dies a painful friggin' death. Oh, man. These damn days. Out. Oh.